Hello, everyone. How's it going? I hope everyone's having a great day. Let's see who might come in. All right. How's it going? Well, I'm a little bit worried. Unless. Ah, hello, hello. I am so glad to see y'all. So, so glad. Uh, let me get into this area here. Hold on one second. My Thing is not working all that well today. I am trying something a little bit new. Um, looks like I can barely see the chat. Uh, I see Nicole. I see Crystal. Hi, Rebecca. Okay, let me see. I think that might be what we have here right now. Apparently, well, what I've done, guys, is uh, because I had such trouble um, last week with the audio, I am trying um, to um, do something a little different. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to move things around just a smidge, okay? And then I want to see you guys. I am starting to get there. All right. Okay. Hello, hello, everyone. I um, don't know how much of this you can see. So, okay, Rebecca, you're working and lurking. That's awesome, girl. Um, I'm going to be working. <laughs> as well. <laughs> so let's see. Um, Crystal, Nicole, uh, I know Rebecca's busy. Um, can y'all hear me okay? And what does this screen look like? Does it look like my hands are just that? Uh, uh. Well, while y'all answer that, I am going to mess with this for a second. Um, I want to thank you guys for being here. Okay. So, but does it look okay, Rebecca? You think I can get away with it? Hi, Kaya. Good to see you, sweetie. How's everyone's day going? Okay. Let me see if I can go up a little bit. Hold on. Okay, well, that looks a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> nails on a Harbor Freight box. <laughs> Smarty pants. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Uh, that was That's a big deal because that's what I've been you know, working on. Um, apparently, my little cheapy headphones are working. So. Hi, Amanda. 
You did two successful Ada dies. You go, girl. Oh man, y'all, she's doing really good on the on the dying dying that yeah the cloth. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so let's talk. So it's five oh five. Got quite a few. Um, yeah, Deborah's the smarty pants, but so are you. You're running a close second, Crystal. <laughs> so anyway, um, it's been you know a pretty uneventful week. Um, we didn't have as many Zooms as normal, so I missed all my friends, but we didn't do those. Um, but hopefully, you know, that'll pick up. Um, let's see. Tuesday. Tuesday, I had, and a lot of you all know, I had a, a uh, it was a considered a cosmetic uh, procedure, but it was like, uh, got all girls in here. Okay. Well, skin tag. Anyway. Um but this doctor was so good. So the first time I'd gone to her, mine retired. Uh, and it was probably a really good thing she was getting old. Um, but anyway, um, and so I went to her, and she did really, really good. She talked to me the whole time. Monty was with me. And I know because I'm a big weenie. So he was with me and, you know, saw me through it. And uh, and I didn't feel the shot because she had to give me shots dead in, the, dead in it in the area and that's what I freak out about is shots I, I don't do needles but okay if I have to I did not feel the needles going in okay now once the needles were in there that's another story <laughs> I felt that and I was doing the oh, thing and so I got really tired but I was a really weenie the next day because I was like I'm sorry it hurts but you know hey it is what it is I've recovered and here I am um Okay, so that was the big thing I did this week. That was Tuesday, Wednesday, just hung around. I did get um, a lot done on the crystal canvas art that I was working on. Hi, Brian. How are you, sweetie? So I was talking about getting a lot done on the crystal canvas art. It was, uh, there's always time for tea. That's really cute. It's got the, it's got the uh, teacup and then it's got the um, little macaroon and it's really, really cute. So I got a lot done on that because I just didn't feel like doing much nothing. And so, uh, or anything else anyway. So I sat and I worked a lot on that because I know tomorrow uh, is going to begin the, um, okay, Everything Craftably, I believe is the name of it. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Uh, anyway, so I'm work actually working on kidding up the one that I've decided to do. Um, I know that there's lots of, uh, well, not a lot of, but there's Java Joanna's I know being done. There's um, the puppy, lo puppy loving Petunia and then Chloe, Crack Crazy Chloe. So I know there's a bunch of those being done. Uh, two of the others that I have, um, actually I don't have Java Joanna, but I'm going to get her. Anyway. So I have Magenta Warrior also, and I have uh, Bunny Loving Bethany. Bunny Loving Bethany is beautiful. She's so, so cute. And mind you, I'm a purple person, okay? But I do like blue. Um, oh, you got yours today, Amanda? Oh, my goodness. It's so it, It's coming out really nice. I, I like it. I like it. And I can actually do some multiplacing. Yay! Makes it go faster. So, anyway, I'll show you a picture of funny, loving Bethany. Isn't she adorable? I just, I love the blue. It's just gorgeous. But a nice little bunny. She's got blue lips. This has the little bunny here. Her old cup is, uh, has bunny ears and, oh, it's cute. Adorable. So anyway, this is what I'm going to do. And she has got, she's only got 40 colors, and it's around. Uh, she's 18 inch by 24 inch. So I shouldn't have any problems getting this done. Um, that's pretty much what um, what I did with the uh, Coffee Bestie um, that was Sher the, the Sherry Baldy, uh, Baldy Bonanza. So finished that in a month. It was around 
no, no big deal. This, I think, will be about the same, but I know that I'm going to completely enjoy working on it. Um, Crystal, I still haven't figured out which one to do. Okay, make up your mind for you. Okay, I think you pretty much have all of them. You have a dog, you have a cat, and you in real life have a dog and a cat. Um, the froggy and stuff's not out yet. Well, if you have Bunny Loving Bethany, we can do the same one. Yes, uh, Brian's kickoff is starting tomorrow as well. For Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. It is going to be so cute. I absolutely love it. It's it's cross stitch. Um, okay, help me out here, uh, Brian. I think it's going for six months. Is that correct? Hi, Deborah. Were your ears burning? We're talking about you a little bit. <laughs> okay, Kaya. Uh, about Brian's thing. Yeah, I haven't begun to get anything for it yet. I'm like so behind on everything, um, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And, and of course, we're going to be going on vacation uh, close to the end of this month. So then pretty much everything goes on hold. I might take something little with me um, just, you know, for the heck of it. You know, if we get any downtime, which we don't usually Um but I do plan on, and I know Monty's going to protest, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to try and do some live streams, try and do some videos uh, and things like that. Because the places we go are so awesome, and I love, I love to share it. And I'm a big picture and video person. I love it. Um, okay, let me see what I got. Uh, okay, Crystal, yes, you have it. So you want to do that one with me? Yes or no? Uh, yeah, Brian, you're still waiting on your fabric. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry you had problems with your laptop, Deborah, but I'm glad you're here. Yay! Oh my good, yeah, push come to shove. Yeah, you could dye your own, could you, Kaya? Yes, for six months. Brian's thing is for six months. It may take me six months to do it, and I'm very serious. <laughs> All right, Crystal. Okay, we'll we'll kit we'll kit it up tonight on. You can kit yours up tonight on Zoom. I'll probably still be kitting this up. Um, and so, uh, one of the things I want to let you know uh, for those I think everyone in here knows what Craftively has in their kits, but um, what I did, I have some friends. Here was my logic on on this. Um, I love to do videos. Uh, I love to do my YouTube videos, but we'd all gotten craftably. Um, many of us got the same kit and there were so many videos put out there that I was like, well, everyone's already seen it. I don't want to, you know, repeat it. I mean, I'm sorry, that might be boring to me. Um, so I didn't, but I called a friend of mine. And I did a private unboxing. <laughs> I know it was really funny, actually. Um, but I got them on the phone, got them on the video call, and did a private unboxing. Um, the one I have not unboxed that I will do a video of is I got my Bella Safina in. And I'm very excited about that. Um, and so that's one that not everybody got the same thing. So, um, But I'm very excited about this uh, Everything Craftly uh, event for this month. So they have a traditional kit, you know, it's got your, your pen, it's got a few, few uh, multi-placers, got your tweezers, all that kind of stuff. So it's got that. But they added some, they add some new stuff in here. Ah, everything's falling. Isn't this cute though? A cute little bag. I can use that for lots of little things. So they now do some washi tape. I got the Eiffel Tower. I love that one. And this one's kind of like, I don't know, stars, fireworks, that sort of thing. And of course, and they branded, they have to be branded now, which I think is great. And they send you a cover minder. This is my little cover minder I got. It's a little heart, so cute. 
So I got that. Um, of course, you get your stickers. Um, there's a thing that gives you a list of the new 4.0 kits. Um, a lot of you probably seen the um, the purple tubes uh, that totally rock. I love those. I was actually looking for something like that prior to them doing that. Uh, I'll be honest with you, they're really expensive if you're going out and buying them retail. So it's a really big plus that they do those because I could really use them in, in uh, storage and all those kind of things. So um, anyway, so I've told you about Bunny Loving Bethany. Uh, while we chit chat, I'm going to just put these on. I will tell you, I thought that these were a bit big. They're not. Um, at least not for the Harbor Freight containers because I, I put right about the middle, uh, almost the middle of the symbol, I don't know, middle, little to the right. Wrap it around. Perfect. Yes. And if you wear glasses, you can probably see them oh, without your glasses on. Well, I could, but yeah, we won't go there. Um, so anyway, let's see what else is going on. Okay, we didn't have a really big week. Um, anything else going on at all, y'all? Boy, it was pretty uneventful. Well, I was on the uh, Planner Monday. That was kind of that was fun. Um, okay, Group One. It's done. Ooh, there. Okay. So first one finished. Now I'll do the second one. All right. Um, what I was going to do, let me see. I'll catch up on uh me catch up on chat real quick. Okay. I am so glad you're here, Deborah. Melissa. Oh my gosh. Hi, honey. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. It's been a long time. Okay, you need to order the next three crystal. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get that Java Joanna ordered. Oh, Brian, you don't have a craftable yet? Get on that, dude. They're awesome. They're awesome. Finish the butterflies, bud. Oh, that's great, Kaya. Uh, it can get a little expensive, Crystal. I've been refraining, uh, because I don't use them like I should. And so it's one of those rabbit holes that I haven't gone completely down. I've gone partially down it or, you know, just weekly stuff. I do want to start doing, um, the, uh, da, 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 menu planning because I think that would really, really help because I need to go back on keto. Starting to put that way back on. Not much, just a little. And so, um, anyway, um, as y'all saw in my thumbnail, uh, I figured we'd talk a little bit about the Olympics. Now, let it be said, I am not watching the Olympics. Yes, I, I, I'm not watching it. Uh, I used to be into it. Um, I haven't been much, but I would have been looking into some facts about it and the history. Of it, and so uh, I thought I might share a little bit of that because I was really, you know, it was really interesting. Um, no, you can't beat that crystal. That's really, really good. So, okay, so let's see. Uh, the first Olympic Games took place in the eighth century BC in Olympia, Greece. Uh, they were held every four years for 12 centuries. Then in the 4th century AD, uh, all pagan festivals were banned by Emperor Theodosius I, and the Olympics were no more. However, the ath athletic tradition was resurrected about 1,500 years later. First modern Olympics were held in 1896 in Greece. This is a long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, so back then the games lasted five or six months. Yeah. 
five or six months. That's a long time. In ancient Greece, get this, in ancient Greece, athletes didn't uh, worry about sponsorship, protection, or fashion. They competed naked. Yes, you heard me. They competed naked. It really does. It says it's on a piece of paper. Yeah. I was like, okay, um, yeah. No, I, uh -uh. I'm just, no. Um, anyway, so uh, women have been allowed to compete in the Olympics since 1900. Um, let's see. In ancient Greece, nope. Ooh, here we go. Uh, from 1924 to 1992, the winter and summer Olympics uh, took place in the same year. They had not separated uh, the years yet. They had them in, within two years. Um, so it's pretty much they're doing it every two years uh, as far as, you know, and Olympics. So, okay. Only four athletes have won medals in both the Winter and Summer Olympics. Only one of them, Christine Ludinger Rothenberger. That's that name. Um, she won uh, medals in the same year. And mind you, uh, a little note, this article that I pulled this from was done in 2016, but some of it is, again, a lot of it's still the same. Um, I don't think the history has changed. <laughs> um, let's see. During the 2012 London Games, the Olympic Village required 165,000 towels for a bit more than two weeks of activity. 165,000 towels. Honestly, I can believe it. So you're saying five months of making men? Yes, Rebecca, I, I'm saying that exactly. Yeah, I guess so. Huh? Yeah, you can watch five, five, five months of that, five, six months of that. That would work. Yeah. And hubby might not want to be watching that, but you know, you're single. So there you go, girl. Um, so let's see. Uh, the official languages of the games are English and French. Uh, I think that was, again, called back. Uh, complementing the official language of the host country. So, yeah. Um, oh, hi, Robert. Hi, sweetie. I'm glad you made it. I was wondering if you were going to make it or not, because you're usually my first one. And I was like, uh-oh, getting worried. Is he going to show up? And yes, you did. Yay. Um, yeah, we're talking about... Um, some history of the Olympics, Robert. Um, so let me see. Oh, did y'all know that Tarzan competed in the Olympics? Uh, Johnny Weissmuller, an athlete turned actor who played Tarzan in 12 movies, won five gold medals in swimming in the 1920s. That was pretty cool. Tarzan. Yeah. Uh oh being silly so let's see oh this was this was kind of neat from 1912 to 1948 artists participated in the olympics get this painters sculptors architects writers and musicians competed for medals in their respective fields so i thought that was kind of neat I, I never knew that that you have artists competing in the olympics but I'm not sure how that would work out. How would they judge that? All that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, what would they be looking for as far as, you know, judging things? Uh, let's see. During the 1936 Berlin Games, two Japanese pole vaulters tied for second place. Listen to this. Instead of competing again, they cut the silver and the bronze medal in half and fused the two halves together. So they each had half of a bronze and half of a silver. And I thought that was really, really neat. Um, 
Ooh, I will compete, Rebecca. I like that. What a great idea. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the Olympic torch is lit the old-fashioned way uh, in the ancient, uh, let me see, old-fashioned way in an ancient ceremony at the Temple of Hera, H-E-R-A, in Greece. Actresses wearing costumes of Greek priestesses use a parab parabolic mirror and sun rays to kindle sun rays to kindle the torch. And the torch is like a reminder of the game's Greek origin. So let's see. From there, the torch uh, starts its relay to the host city. It's usually carried by runners, uh, but it has traveled on a boat, on an airplane and the Concorde, on horseback, on the back of a camel, via radio signal, underwater, and in a canoe. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, now, the unlit, um, to the, the unlit Olympic torch has been taken to space several times as well. So, uh, the relay torch and the Olympic flame are supposed to burn during the whole event in case the flame goes out it can only be reignited with a backup flame which has been lit in Greece as well so I guess they light two torches and so send one on its way and keep you know one for in case it goes out so uh, the 2012 London Games were the first Olympics in which all participating countries sent female athletes wow is that long, huh? 2012. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know, Robert. Okay, let's see. The following sports are sadly not part of the Olympics anymore. Solo synchronized swimming, tug of war, <laughs> rope climbing, hot air ballooning, dueling pistol. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Tandem bicycle, a swimming obstacle race. Now, that would be cool. And plunge for distance. Okay. Uh, oh, luckily, live pigeon shooting was a one-shot and only part of the 1900 Olympics in Paris. Yeah, that's not nice. Leave the pigeons alone. Leave the pigeons alone. Let's see. Um, 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 keep going here. Um, now there's a little bit that I learned about the uh, Olympic uh, symbol. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm actually getting something done, guys. Now, if I was diamond painting and not sure. Okay, the five rings of the Olympic symbol designed by Baron Pierre de Kuberton, Kuberton uh, co-founder of the modern Olympic Games, represent the five inhabited content, continent of the world. I didn't know. The six colors, blue, yellow, black, green, red, and white background, uh, were chosen because every nation's flag contains at least one of them. Uh, the Olympic Games have been hosted by 23 different countries. And again, this uh, article was from uh, 2016. So I uh, think this changed a little bit. Um, ah, I'm dropping things. Hi, Dawn Marie. Welcome. I'm glad you got here. Awesome. We're talking about the history of the Olympics. I haven't been watching the Olympics, and so I was really interested with, you know, some of the history of it. And I thought that I would share them in this live stream. But the Olympics are going on. Um, oh, oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. The first official Olympic mascot was Waldy the Dachshund. Yeah, the Dachshund, yeah. Um, Sapri Dachshund. Uh, at the 1972 Games in Munich. I think that is so cute. Oh, okay. Here, 2016. Here's the a, a stat. Um, the 2016 Games in Rio will mark the first time 
uh, that the Olympics are, were held in South America. That was kind of neat. Oh, thank you for the purple heart. Yeah, I know. No more dueling. I mean, that I could see that. That would be okay. Uh, you know, the way that they do it. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that would be, I would, I guess I would watch that. Because I've actually, uh, when Zach was younger, uh, one of the uh, things, classes that we got to go to um, was a fencing class. So he went to a little fencing class, and that was the coolest thing. I mean, he really enjoyed it. He enjoyed it. I mean, it's not something that we started doing on a, doing on a regular basis, but it was fun. He enjoyed it. Um, okay. Whoops. It helps if you get the sticker, right? Yeah? Hi, Sandra. Hey, I remembered to make it to yours. My brain was working today. I made it to your live stream. Yay, me. Hi, Grace. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I got a drill stuck in there. So we're talking about um, Grace and Sandra that just came in. Uh, we are talking about some history of the Olympics. Um, there's some pretty cool little stuff in here. Uh, now, during in 2016, uh, during those 17 days of the Summer Olympics, 10,500 athletes from 205 countries uh, representing represented 42, 42 different sports and participated in 306 competitions in Rio. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so... Oh, okay. The first uh, Winter Olympic Olympic Games were held uh, in were held in 1924 in a different city than the Summer Olympics. What? Okay, this French. Okay, at first the Winter Olympics took place in the same year as the summer ones, but organizers soon realized that it made more sense to hold them in different years. As a result, the Winter Olympics now occur two years after the Summer Olympics. Okay. All right. Oh, up until 1912, the um, the gold medal, the Olympic gold medals, were solid, was solid gold. It was solid gold. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, little side note. Uh, for those that have just joined us, I'm kidding up uh, my bunny loving Bethany for the Everything Craftedly event that starts tomorrow. And their, um, their stickers fit perfectly to me on the um, uh, Harbor Freight containers. Oh, Sandra, you remember when they used to be the same here? Ah. Uh, okay. Um, now, uh, okay, so we talked about the Olympic medals were made of solid gold. Um, recent games have given out around 5,000 bronze, silver, and gold medals in total. That's a lot of medals. So instead of being created from solid gold, the heavy first place medals are now covered in six grams of it. Six grams of it. Um, yes, absolutely, Grace. Uh, Rebecca had men mentioned that. She said, uh, looking up further, she says, okay, I'm planning the diamond painting Olympics. I'm all for it. Let's do it. That would be so cool. I don't know how we do it, but that would be really, really cool. And I like all of your ideas for us. Uh, um, for different events, Grace, that's pretty cool. Very cool. Relay painting. Oh, Sandra. 
Well, we kind of, I mean, I wouldn't say I guess relay painting. Um, at last year's uh, retreat, we had our uh, paintings out and we kind of did musical painting. We would, we could go to someone else's uh, painting and work on it for a little bit. And so you get a chance to work on maybe a painting from a different company or you get to try uh, a different tray. Uh, a different pen, pen tip, you know, things like that. So that was really cool. And so, uh, you know, maybe we'll do something like that this year. I don't know. I don't know what Marissa has in mind. And we have a whole lot more people. So we'll have to see how that goes. Okay. I like that, Crystal. I like that. Yeah, that DTF-on is uh, one week. One week from today. Uh, yeah, one week from today. Because next Saturday is the 7th. So, yep. And I need to get my, um, I need to get my uh, charity info to, um, to Marissa. Uh, I hadn't really decided on what I was going to do. But I think I've, I've figured it out. Um, I'll have to get in touch with them and see how to do it. But um, I think that the charity I'm going to do is NAMI. And that's North, Amer North American Mental Illness. And uh, I, I think, I don't, I don't think anyone's touched on that. Um, I think it's really good. I think that we need, um, you know, more things done for uh, folks out there with no, mental illness, everyone deals with, you know, various things. And, uh, you know, we've had family members that have had to, you know, deal with this stuff. And honestly, there's not enough help out there. So I would like to see uh, them be able to um, develop some more programs and things like that. But the things that they do have, they're really, really good. Um, and they deal with everything from, um, you know, ADHD, uh, I think they deal with autism. And then, of course, then they deal with even the much more serious uh, issues. And so um, I think that I might like to do that as my, as my charity. So um, let me see. Ah, <laughs> Sandra, that's cute. Okay. All right, Crystal, they made you a link. All right, well, I'm going to give uh, I'm going to get Nami a call on Monday and see if they can work a link out for me because I think that would be I think that would be great. So let me move a few things around here. What else do I have about the Olympics? Oh, you know, I'm sure y'all figured this out, you know, or know this as well. The Olympics aren't just for sports. It's really it's really kind of like a camaraderie. It's, you know, they build friendships, uh, you know, that competitive spirit, but still, you know, um, it is. It's, it's from, you know, relationships, you know, people from different countries around the world. Um, you know, they have 16 days together. Uh, you know, they're just from all religions, nationalities, cultures, um, and they're all working together on this, and it's really cool. Um, only three modern Olympic Games have been canceled. They were canceled due to World War I in 1916 and World War II in 1940 and 1944. So, yeah. Um, I will get you on uh, on that chat or uh, Crystal, can you get her in on that? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, and while I'm thinking about it, um, if if one of my um, moderators, if y'all will put in the link to my Facebook group, that would be totally awesome. And that way people can come see me. I'm going to start trying to get more stuff in there. Um, Let's see. The gold medals, of course, were mostly made of silver, despite the popular the belief that uh, that they were the gold. But now they just have six grams. 
Um, let's see, only five countries have been represented at every modern era Summer Olympic Games. That's Greece, Great Britain, France, Switzerland, and Australia. <laughs> oh, you're working on the puppy. Cute. Okay. Uh, Sandra hasn't decided. Yeah, I know. It's just so many. Um, now it narrowed down to three. Good. Crystal, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, the gold medal is the most submitted silver, yada, 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 yada. We knew that. We knew that. Um, oh, my gosh. If this is correct, the medals for the Summer Olympics in Tokyo were made from 80,000 tons of recycled electronics. The Tokyo Games gold medal weighs about 566 grams, which means an Olympic medal made a well, an Olympic medal made of pure gold would cost close to $32,000 based on current market prices. Expensive metal. Ah, thank you, Crystal. Okay, let's see. Oh, the youngest Olympian in modern era is Greek gymnast Dimitrios Laudra, who competed in 1896 Athens Olympics at the age of 10. Age of ten. Oh my God! And I and I thought our you know and I thought our gymnasts were young. Um. Yeah, and these it says these are Olympic Games are held every four years to respect the ancient origins of the games. Um. But again, the logic of you know every two years. So. Okay. Um. This is going to be a little bit of a list. Um. But it might be interesting. These are, um, let's see, Olympic Games held every four years. Uh, let me see. I believe that this is a list of uh, all of the events. Yeah. Now, uh, for Tokyo, there's around 11,000 athletes who made their way to Tokyo for, to compete in over 339 different events from 30, or excuse me, from 41 different sports. Mm, okay. All right. So let's just see. Um, yeah, y'all did have the Winter Olympics there. Yep. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, real quick, let's go through some of these. Looks like uh, three by three, three on three basketball, archery, artistic gymnastics, artistic, artistic synchronized swimming, um, badminton. Okay, these are some of the sports. Baseball, softball, basketball, beach volleyball. Okay, let's touch on that for a second. Beach volleyball. I saw a news story where um, it, it wasn't the USA, but it, it was another country. But their their women's beach volleyball team was fined. They were fined for wearing shorts instead of those teeny tiny skimpy bikini bottoms. Okay, they wore these. I mean, they were athletic. They were athletic shorts. They were like fitted shorts and plenty of movement great you know but they weren't shown showing their behind um and apparently it was considered uh not wearing the proper uniform and that just set off a big firestorm of this and that and the other so i don't know what the outcome was other than people were saying just pay the fine and wear what you want so yeah i i will be interested to see what you know 
what came of that. Uh, yes, Sandra, it's ridiculous. You know, they would much rather see them out there, you know, you know, showing their high knees and picking wedgies and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, <laughs> but it's true. It's true. They'd be much more comfortable in these uh, bike shorts, bike shorts. That's what they are. The girls bike shorts and they're fitted. Uh, they're they're really fitted like uh like leggings and stuff, but it's they're but they're the bike shorts. So anyway, um choo -choo -choo. let me see if I can find anything else that's interesting in the way of the Olympics. So I've got oh, I know what we were doing. We were going through the different uh uh different uh, competitions. There is boxing, uh, canoe slalom, uh, BMX cycling, uh, mountain bike cycling, road cycling, track cycling, okay, look at that, cycling, diving, of course, uh, equestrian, fencing, there's our fencing, um, our football and football, uh, soccer, which is what they call football, um, golf, handball, let's see, hockey, judo, karate. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I know. Um, actually, uh, no, one of the TV stations, actually the Olympics. They were saying that they were not wearing appropriate uh, appropriate uniforms, and they showed a picture actually of the the men's and the women's uh, Olympic team side by side. These guys are in tanks and long basketball shorts, and these girls are in um, like sports bras and bikini bottoms. I mean, come on, yeah. And so there were a lot of people saying, you know what, just pay the fine. And, you know, I don't, I still don't know the outcome of that. I need to look that up. Monty and I found it uh, when we were flipping YouTube stuff. Let's see. Um, Melissa. Uh, interesting fact. Yeah. Interesting facts about the Olympics. Yeah. I haven't watched them this year either. I just, but I was looking and I was like, you know, we're in the midst of it. I'm doing it live stream, it'd be great to, you know, uh, read up on it a little bit and the history of it. Um, oh, that's right. School's cool. getting ready to start. And you've been busy doing that. Oh, you'll have to tell me about the uh, home construction a bit later. All right. What's Sandra say? Okay, Sandra, that's all right. I will see you soon. Love you, girl. Oh, Lady Gaga paid the fine for those girls. Ah, way to go. Way to go. Okay, yes, Sandra. I'll be there. I'll be there. All right. So, yeah. So that's what happened. Lady Gaga paid the fine for them. Um, do you know if they were fined anymore or if they were able to play? Got any info on that? I'd be interested to hear that. Um, so, um, back to this real quick today. Modern pentathlon, rhythmic gymnastics. That's kind of cool. Uh, rowing. That would be good to watch. Rugby seven. I have no idea what rugby seven is. If anybody knows, tell me, please. Um, sailing, shooting. Ooh, I could do shooting. Uh, Skateboarding, no, I'd break my neck. Uh, sport climbing, yeah. Remind me to tell, I'll tell you real quick. This, uh, when we talk about climbing, we were, uh, we were out with, um, Zachary and then our young, our only grandson. And he was about four, five. No, he was about four. And we were going to California or back. Anyway, somehow we ended up, we were going to Estes Park, Colorado. And so we went to, um, they, uh, 
National Park there, um, Rocky Mountain National Park. Well, we pulled into this area, and it, there was it was a parking lot, and then there was a this really cool rock, and there was a way you could crawl up it. And so Monty, Monty's the monkey of the group. He'll he'll go up, he'll climb anywhere. He has climbed to places at the Grand Canyon that I won't go. Um, and so um, anyway, so he climbed up there. And then Zach went up after him. And I think we put Tristan up with them. So everybody was up there really good, the boys. And then I tried to come up there, which probably was not the best idea. Um, and so, but then all of a sudden, it, it became monkey see, monkey do. Because all these people started, because we were there, all these people saw something going on. So they all pulled in and saw that we were climbing up. So they wanted to kind of climb up too. Well, then it started getting a lot of people and really kind of dangerous. Um, and so we managed to get, I think, we managed to get the kids down, and then I was going down before Monty, and I slipped, and I hit my head on that rock, and I had a big old goose egg on, my, on the back of my head, and I got all the way down, and I got to the car, and I started bawling. I'm like, I want to get out of here. I don't ever want to come back. So, yeah, I'm wondering, you know, I, I will get back to Rocky Mountain National Park. It might actually even be the summer. But, yeah, at that point, I did not want to ever go back to Rocky Mountain National Park because I fell and I hit my head. So, yeah, that was uh, that was not good. Hello, Robin. Okay, I'll read it on TMZ. Excellent. Yeah, we were talking about the, uh, um, the beach volleyball girls uh, in the Olympics. But I was just talking about, you know, rock climbing, me falling, hitting my head. Um, oh, and we were talking about, uh, I mentioned in my list of things that uh, sports in the Olympics, skateboarding. Yep. We talked about your, your boy skateboard. Um, and then surfing, swimming, table tennis, see, taekwondo, um, tennis, trampoline gymnastics, Hmm, a triathlon, uh, regular volleyball, uh, water polo, weightlifting, and wrestling. Hmm, so that's all the, uh, at least this is the list that I see of uh, the events that they are um, participating in. And so I thought that was, uh, that was really kind of cool. It was pretty neat. Um, and so it looks like I actually got uh, all of my bunny, for those that weren't here in the beginning, I'm doing Bunny Loving Bethany for the Everything Crafted Lit event, which begins tomorrow. Uh, also beginning tomorrow is um, Brian's um, Hocus Pocus, I Need Coffee to Focus uh, cross-stitching event. And that's going to go on for six months. Um, Everything Craftably will go on for one month. Um, and that is with uh, Kara and Grace, uh, GB Maltese. Um, let's see. What's that winter one where we're all sweeping the, sweeping the floor? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, curling? Robin, it's curling? Okay. You know what? I don't even know what that is. Okay, I'm going to go look it up. Unless somebody wants to tell me real quick. I got just, just a few minutes more on this live stream. Hold on, I'm going to get me a drink of water. Okay, got thirsty. Oh, I wanted to show y'all something. This is so cute. We got this on vacation a couple years ago. I say a couple years ago. I think it was 2019. And, of course, we have, ham we have hamsters. We had player for two years and he died at the beginning of this year and then I just got uh, Sir Scratch uh, about a month or two ago has it been that long anyway he's Mr. Social anyway so this is really really cute oops let me see why well, yes 
I'm a bit stressed. Why do you ask? That is so me sometimes. Isn't that cute? So funny. I love it. I love it. So, anyway, um, so we're fast approaching the six o'clock hour central time. Um, okay. Crystal, uh, looked it up. It said you slide a round piece of cement on ice and sweep in front of it so it keeps. Okay. Really? And that's called curling. Hmm. All right. I might, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to Google that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Google that. I want to see. I want to see that. Yeah. And so, uh, are there like oh, like sweeping the floors? Okay. Yeah. Curling. Okay. Now I'm in on that conversation. It just went whoosh right over my head. Yes. Five minutes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to look that up, Grace. It's gonna be hilarious. I'm sure. I'm sure. Kaya, is it fun? Have you done this? Awesome. That's awesome if you have. Well, friends, I'm going to uh, get ready to wrap up here. Um, I want to thank you for joining me. If you like this video, if you'll hit the thumbs up button, the like button. If you're not already subscribed, if you'll consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell, you'll be notified anytime that I upload a new video or do a live stream. So uh, if you are watching the, this on replay, if you'll be sure and hit and put in hashtag replay so I know that you are here. Um, so that's all I have got for y'all today. Um, let me see really quick so I do wrap up the chat. Uh, uh, run on ice. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Nancy. Ooh, she snuck in there. Hi, welcome. Not a name I've seen before. Well, I will be here again at five. Well, okay, correction. I will not be here at five o'clock next. Saturday because I will be on, we do the DTF on, so I will be on Sunday. And if it's right, I will be here from one, I will be on from 1.30 to 3 central time. I think it's central time. Anyway, we'll have an alert that goes out for that. So yes, Crystal, I will see you in Zoom. Uh, Don Marie, you have a blessed day as well. Oh, Nancy, you just got here. Oh, well, hey, come back anytime. I am usually here 5 o'clock Central Time on Saturdays. Uh, again, except for next, next weekend. So stop by the DPF on. Uh, there'll be people going for like 48 hours. So off and on, you know, I say off and on. Come pop in and, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm rambling. So uh, I will see you all next time. And some of the others, I'll see you on Zoom. Y'all have a very blessed weekend. Love you guys. Mwah. See ya.